All right, we're back at the EVgo fast charging station and we want to see if the core gets hot. I brought my uh, thermal camera and I just want to see what gets hot if, if the camera can pick it up, right? So let's go plug in to the fast charging stations over here. A lot of EV owners, they still use these as just regular parking spots. They don't plug in. I guess it's not that big of a deal right now because there's not that many EVs yet, but this will become a real big issue here. This is a BMW. It's a plug-in BMW. What happened? You said the EVgo lady called you? Yeah, she wanted to apologize for the trouble we were having the other day. We made the connection and then, um, oh, it's working. It's working. And this time it actually worked the first time. Okay. Let's try, accepted my card, connected. Okay, so this time around it just seemed to work. Yeah. And we have started our charging session. But she gave us a $50 credit to our account for our troubles. Ah, okay. So the, apparently there was something weird going on. There was a bug. Hey, we weren't supposed to be charged all those $30, you know, temporary charges or whatever. Because it's, you know, I mean, <laughs> we tried it so many times to charge and it wasn't working that I... There's like four or five, six charges, I think, $30 chargers on our account. And sure, they're all going to be um, reversed. Reverse. They're just temporary charges, right? But but apparently that's not supposed to happen. And um, it, was, it was weird. They called us. They called Crystal. So anyways, 200, 200 kilowatts. There we go. And this time around, it was a lot quicker. Apparently now, because we set up the account. And so I guess, right? So now we're gonna try and see what gets hot here. I'm gonna put my thermal camera, let's check it out. All right, here we go. This is the mode that I used before. See how now it's focusing, that's the tire. That's the handle right there. And that's 76 degrees Fahrenheit, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess. See, you starting to see some, oh, look at that. You're starting to see the cable. And you can see the wires inside the cable, how they're twisted in there. <laughs> okay, so that's real. That's real heat right there. And they're at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we go. They go all the way up. The station there. Here you go. Uh, other than that, nothing in the station because this is that's just the card reader thing. What about on the on the truck? There, yeah, I guess there's nothing in the truck. Oh, okay, there's see some stuff over there inside the grill. The floor seems to be. No, the floor is not hot. See, only when you're not pointing at it, it lights up like that. <laughs> yeah, so there's something inside this cable. Oh, yeah, you can feel it with the hand, too. Uh, we're at 35%, 208. This is the max this truck will take full speed, right? 208 kilowatt. Uh, let's see here. Session details. 430 volts. 484, 430 volts. 485 amps. 208 kilowatts. 209 kilowatts. Full speed. Okay, so now I put this setting where it shows you 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit on that cable. And you can totally see where the conductors are and probably where the, uh, the cooling lines are at. 
And now at this point now, the truck's fans have started uh, cooling now. What's it reading now? Starting to taper down at 442 amps, 432 volts. So 190 at 41%. Let's see here. That's the cord right there, and those are those fans going like crazy now. So 436 volts divided it by 108 cells in, in series is four, it's over four volts. So maybe the ramp down is because of the voltage of these bad cells is too high already. So maybe in order to decrease uh, damage to the cells, that's why they ramp down. It might be having to do with the voltage and not with heating, but I don't know, I'm just, guessing at this point. This is all just nothing. Well, it's supposed to be says 84 right there. Okay, so this is how hot that cable. 107 degrees. Yeah, those contacts get, they get quite hot. Okay, because they're pushing 200 kilowatts for 10 minutes. Ah, well, I'm, how long was that? That wasn't that much, right? Five minutes. sound guys think about that light bar I think it looks pretty cool it looks unique no other car has such a feature that, that you know you know predominant you know like this <laughs> this is bright and it goes across the entire front with those little you know lights that people polarizing lights people either hate uh, or some other people are different like me. I don't I don't love them, but I don't They don't bug me. It's I don't think it's ugly. I think it's just different, you know uh, There are many fronts to a car But that light bar I like it I like it 
And on the back, it's pretty much the same thing. It's got this giant red light that goes across the entire uh, back of the truck. Yeah, it's pretty unique. No other cars have this stuff.